Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Here is a summary of The Bachelor's 28th season premiere. A record-breaking 32 women get out of the Lemos tonight to begin the season in an attempt to win Joey Grazia D over. Though Joey was heartbroken by Bachelor Charity Lawson, it's now his time to make the decisions. Who's going to kiss first? The first impression Rose will go to. The highlights of The Bachelor Season 28, Episode 1 are listed below. Host Jess Palmer enters the driveway halfway through the 32 women's arrival, with some news. He informs Joey that Lee, the woman we met at Charity's after the final Rose, will be one of the women with a familiar face. Lee was handed an envelope at that point and instructed not to open it until she was inside the bachelor mansion. What's inside the package, according to Jesse, will change everything. Finally, Lee shows up. Joey says, I know you. It appears that you are holding something there, the person said, gesturing to the envelope. Lee answers, I'm definitely really nervous and anxious to open this. Whatever it is, I hope it will contribute to the development and growth of our tale in a genuine and honest way. I would therefore love to come steal you if you have some free time so that we can open this together. That sounds really good, he responds. As she enters the mansion, she says, good to see you. The first kiss goes to Jess, the girl who arrives on a boat. She sighs, I just had my first kiss with my future husband. She returned to the house, nevertheless, and informed the other women that she had simply had a little smoochy poo. Oh no, that will make her a target. Not all of the women appear to be very delighted for her. Girl, read the room. Someone makes a joke, is he sober? Heard. Jess slightly gloats in a confessional, saying, all the other girls, just go on home. Maybe an invitation to the wedding will be sent to you. Honey, don't get arrogant. You could get bitten in the ass. Daisy is a lovely Minnesotan girl. She received a cochlear implant when she was a youngster after losing her hearing. She's loving getting to know all the other women, but the background commotion is making it difficult for her to hear. She's starting to feel a bit overwhelmed by it. Joey is informed by Daisy that she was raised on a Christmas tree farm. Her grandfather donned a Santa Claus costume. She imagines how flattering it must be to have so many people eager to be present for him. However, Joey claims that his primary goals are to find his purest intentions in life. She tells him to keep in mind to treat oneself with kindness. Joey says in the interview that he is already a little bit in love with Daisy because she has this soft-spoken demeanor that pulls you in. That's captivating. It draws me in, and I'm curious to learn so much more. Daisy tells him, I'm so excited for you. I will be rooting for you no matter what happens. She also experiences some smoochy poo. Joey and I are together. I already think she's the best. The first impression Rose is dropped onto the table by Jessup Palmer, who enters the room. He quips, just a little present for Joey. The place instantly takes on a different vibe. Ladies, this just got real. Naturally, though, Jess from San Diego believes the Rose is hers already. Rethink that, my dear. Even if you were the first, you won't be the last. Here comes Jess to spend more time with Joey while Joey listens to Taylor Babylon about her blended family. My dear, you've already had enough time. You're being incredibly generous. I apologize so much, she replies, appearing somewhat inebriated. Is it okay if I take him for a little while? She does, of course. The second time around, Taylor poses a mocking question. Jess claims that the first time, they were cut short. What she was kissed, sprinted back, and boasted. 
Taylor begs for one more minute, and Jess grants it with grace. However, she then observes them from a distance of roughly 10 feet. Taylor won't get a kiss since Jess is keeping a close eye on her. As the executive assistant passes by, Taylor gives her the cold shoulder. However, Jess accepts that since she is not here to make friends. All right, let's get started. Our first villain of the season, I believe, is here. Without a doubt, Jess has had a few drinks. A lot of girls want to talk to you, but I want to talk to you more. She says to Joey, slurring her words a little. So let me demonstrate that to you, she says, chuckling tensely. In the meantime, Taylor reports back to the other women, asking them to guess who took Joey from them. Jesse, before, you believed that someone was after you, Jess. It simply got bigger thanks to you. Hey, Jess, are you up for a quick conversation? Taylor inquires and Jess grants it. Oh, they have drama, exclaim the other women. Not only is Taylor furious that Jess cut into her time with Joey, but she is also upset that many women still haven't even spoken to him, as if she gives a rat's ass about them. He and Jess have spoken twice. Her actions are selfish. Does Jess remind anyone else of Vanderpump Rules Brittany Cartwright, Jack's Taylor's wife? She makes me think of KFC. Taylor confides in us, saying, I will be annoyed, as well, and she has a lot more to answer to than just me. If Jess gets the first impression rose, I would hope that she wouldn't do that again if she wanted to stop being a target. Yes, she already has someone chasing her. Tay, don't worry about it. However, Jess admits in an interview that she has no regrets and says, if I could go back in time, I'd probably do it again. And she lets out a wild laugh. Jess, let's see who has the last laugh. It does not look nice. Lee's unique card is still with her. Everyone's speculating about what it might be, and I can't wait to open it and find out. She then opens it. Lee says, You bravely risked everything for love months ago, and now you're finally here at the Bachelor Mansion. Whenever before hometowns, you can use this card to seize a one on one date from someone else. That is significant. A one on one date is so important but it's going to have to come at the expense of someone else, she says, acknowledging that she is thankful for it. That's not how Lee wants to hurt someone. Joey gets to see the card as well. After reading it, he inquires about her emotional state. She says, I want to give you a lot of autonomy. I would also like to express my deep affection and admiration for the other women who have sacrificed much to come here. She has no desire to play God or obstruct Joey's path. Joey says, just you saying that says a lot about your character. Lee continues, I can have as many advantages and little one-ups as I like. But at the end of the day, if I'm not Joey's person, then I'm not. She must now inform the other women about the card, though. Upon perusing the message, a few women believe it to be unjust. It's not unfair, honey. This was the producer's idea, and it's what they play. She approaches and tosses the card into the fire as they prepare to despise Lee. Although Jess acknowledges that giving it up was very sweet, Taylor and Jess both acknowledge that they would have kept it. Did Lee just receive the rose for first impressions? As all is going on, Joey is hanging out with Lexi the first person out of the limos. Her father is her best friend, and she was raised in Toronto. Joey is invited to play golf with Lexi, her brother and her father. He needs to complete our foursome, in her words. She also says, this is a lot, to him. I'm here to provide you with a smile from across the room, or if you ever need someone to chat to. That pleases him, and he leans in to kiss you. He says in the interview, I really like Lexi. I can't help but be drawn to her. Its maturity is really alluring. She truly is a shining star, and I adore the unique feeling she gives me. 
She seems to be here for me, I think. She's also a personal fave of mine. Although it's early, I hope to see her and Daisy as the two finalists. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.